Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father. And this is Dot. And she wants two little sticks this morning. There you go. You can take those. Good girl. This is our brief daily message of hope. And I hope and pray that you're in a good place today, that you are finding opportunities uh, uh, to be near to the Lord and to experience his uh, goodness and mercy. And I was just thinking today about our gospel lesson at Mass from uh, Mark chapter 1, where uh, Jesus encounters uh, a man with leprosy who comes to him and makes an odd statement. Uh, and it's, it's an odd statement, but it's a, a statement of faith where the leper says to Jesus, if you really want to, Lord, you can heal me. Is that an amazing thing to, to say to the Lord? And, you know, sometimes we, we doubt, you know, whether God is interested in us. And so sometimes we approach him timidly like that. Lord, if you really wanted to, you could handle all of this for me. And so uh, you know, sometimes we, we dump all of those things on the Lord to, to deal with. And uh, many times he is here to help us once we make decisions to start uh, doing things for ourselves. He's there in the midst of all of that. But it's interesting when this leper makes that request of Jesus, Jesus uh, looks at him with great compassion and says, of course I want to be healed. And so it's interesting that this timid uh, leper, the bottom of society, uh, um, going timidly uh, to Jesus and saying, you know, Lord, if somehow you really wanted to, you could heal me from this. And Jesus looks at him with compassion and says, of course I want to. You know, that's the answer he gives to us, too. Of course he wants us to experience his nearness and his closeness and his touch and his compassion. Of course he wants to. He wants us to be near to him and close to him. And he wants us to experience the blessings that he has for us. And oftentimes we're just simply not in a place in our lives because of work or school or families or problems or health or whatever the situation is. We're in a place where we are just totally turned inward upon ourselves. Uh, our lives sometimes feel like they're going to implode just blow up right into us. Uh, and that's tragic, you know, because we are meant to help and to serve each other. We're not meant to serve only ourselves. Uh, when we accept the Lord's presence in our life, we are meant to open outward to the rest of the world and to share the blessings we have been given. By. And of course, he wants us to experience his blessings. Uh, and it's not always the blessings we think we ought to receive. You no know, uh, fame and fortune or perfect health. Sometimes that's not what he has in mind for us. But he does have good things in store for us. And of course, he wants us to experience those. And so think today on the goodness and mercy of the Lord and how he, of course, wants you and me to experience those things. But we have to turn out of ourselves and open to him and be open to helping others. That's why we're here. And I'm thinking of just that old George Harrison song from uh, the Abbey Road album called Something. Have a blessed day today, and God willing, God and I will see you here again tomorrow. God bless you.